look, we've got kids in the kitchen tonight. The uh, Maybe not in the kitchen so much. We've got kids in the 2 AFM studio. And just like well-trained circus pandas, they're here to entertain us. But they won't be juggling balls or riding a unicycle. Instead, they'll be entertaining us with their cunning young minds. And tonight, our two clever young offspring have attached themselves to healthy host parents who will nourish the young minds with fertile love, attention, praise, and occasionally a barley sugar if they do the right thing. Tracy, Amber, Megs, welcome to the program. Hi, team. Thank you. It's good to have you all in. And no pressure at all, but we do have an audience in our little fishbowl tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That's no added pressure. It's nothing compared to the thousands of people who've tuned in, though, is it? <laughs> Not at all. Now, Tracy and Amber, you are mother and daughter. Yes. yes. Megs and I are father and son. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's a real family affair here tonight on Time to Talk. Tracy, can you feel the love? Absolutely. There's a lot of love coming from both these two young children here for us. And sure. Amber's just rolling, <laughs> rolling her eyes at me. And we're all excited to be here. Now, we've got a game organised, OK? So, uh, but before we do that, I want to have a few very brief introductions. Amber, you're into drama, music and all kinds of performing arts. Um, yeah. So you're obviously feeling all right tonight, not too nervous? No. Nah. Nothing I can do for you? I can't get your hot chocolate or, no. you know, one of those stress balls? Nothing no. like that? You're all good? I'm all good. Excellent. And what about you, Megs? Do you need some woolen socks? No. No? Come up to the microphone. No. Yes. See, that chair is causing an issue already. Isn't it? <laughs> Dada knows best. I believe there was a show called something like that. Now, listen to this. Tracy, you might want to help me out here. Yes. Rattling that sound box. effect is a box of a box of, of fun, really, isn't it? it? Essentially. What's it say on your box there, Tracy? Mine says, questions for grown-ups asked by kids. <laughs> okay, very specific. And mine says, asked by adults to kids. So we're ba- essentially in the studio to paint a picture for people listening. We have two boxes, magical boxes of fun. And within them are thought-provoking questions, which we are going to ask one another. You can pass. If you need to pass, you will be penalised by having to make a sound of an animal as chosen by the adults in the studio. That's stupid. <laughs> it's not fair. Well, yeah. to make it fair, if one of the adults passes, you guys get to choose an animal that we have to impersonate. Does that sound a bit fairer? Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. Guess so. You like that, Megs? Yes. Good boy. Okay. So, we are gonna. We might as well kick it straight off now. How? Ask the question, Tracy, if that's yep, all right. That's so, which okay. box is that? Ask for adults to... Two kids. No, this no, is so coming from your box. Fun. Questions for grown up coming give from my box. Give it a big shake. Here we go. Okay, who's yeah. asking? You can ask. Give it a big okay, shake. All right. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. Like a milkshake. If there were a war against the Australia, how would you feel about volunteering for duty? <laughs> so let's just recap the question. If there was a war against Australia. How would you feel about volunteering for duty? To explain the reason why I'm laughing so much is yeah. because I actually did look at this question today and went, no way, I'm not volunteering for anything. <laughs> and Tim went, really? I gave you a bit of a heads up. <laughs> Out of all the questions in this box, you had one little sneaky peek and that was the one question. I had one little sneaky peek and that was the one question. That's why I'm laughing so much at So tell question. us, why, why wouldn't you volunteer to, to fight for your country? Um, well, I'm not particularly pro-war. I guess would be my main reason why I wouldn't. Does that mean like not trained or (laughs) what does it mean? What does pro war mean? It it means that I don't like war. I don't like fighting. So you want peace? I want peace. Well, we all want peace. We all want peace. But (laughs) the the question, the question though, Tracy, is what about if we were attacked by a foreign nation, a foreign nation of some kind? (laughs) Wouldn't you be the first one in your camouflage gear? No, I'd I'd move to New Zealand. Oh, jeez. A lot of patriotism in this in this studio tonight. And you know what the good thing is about for, for us, though? They wouldn't take us. They wouldn't too take old. us. Yeah, we, we wouldn't even, this question wouldn't even be relevant for us. They'd be no. looking at us and go, yeah, no, sorry. Because you've got to pass lots of physicals, you see, kids. Wouldn't and happen. they'd take one look at me and they wouldn't bother putting me through the paces. <laughs> so that was very interesting, wasn't and it, kids? Now, I'm shaking up the box. I'm going to let Tracy ask a question for the kids and you can take a turn see, each. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit scared putting my hand in this box. <laughs> what do you think? Think I'm gonna pull out? Um, maybe I a, don't know. Maybe a, a dead spider. A, a dead, a dead put spider. A rabbit from my hat. Might be a dead spider in there too. Okay. Our question: If you could tell me never to serve two vegetables again, which two vegetables would you choose? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, that one's easy for me. Cauliflower and 
thought you said it was easy. Come on. Brussels sprouts. Okay. Cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. I knew we'd hear the Brussels sprout in there yeah. somewhere. What about you, boy? Megs? Brussels sprouts. Yeah, you don't like them? What about cauliflower? I hate cauliflower. Yeah, yeah. same. It's disgusting. Well, tell us, kids, what is it about yeah. cauliflower you um, don't cauliflower like? Cauliflower just doesn't have any flavour, I guess. Yeah. Then, then, then why you don't said. you eat it if it's exactly. got no flavour? Because I know. Because I like stuff with flavour. If, if disgusting a, was a flavour, that's what it would taste <laughs> like. I think disgusting would taste like broccoli, personally. <laughs> I oh, think it would taste like broccoli. cauliflower. Broccoli is my favourite vegetable. Really? Yeah. Oh, my no. favourite vegetable is carrot. The devil's carrot. food. Carrot. Same. Yeah. I love carrot. Yeah? It's my favourite vegetable. There you go. We've got veggie-friendly children. I had it, I had it before I went here. Yeah, I had carrot tonight. But how do you like the carrot cut? That's the important question. I like it in just, circles. Yeah. I like it cut in, like, sticks. The sticks and, sticks and one vote for except, sticks, one except vote for circles. I don't like cooked carrot. I like raw carrot the best. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like mine cut into a little flower shape. Otherwise, I would not <laughs> eat it. <laughs> what are we? Uh, a question for the adults now, please. I hope it's not another tough one about I know. war. I have nothing to do with conscription or <laughs> anything like that. Is it okay for someone who is 22 to marry someone who is 40 or 50? Why or why not? <laughs> Uh, so, no! <laughs> I'll just recap the question here. Is it okay for someone who is 22 <laughs> to marry someone who is 40 or 50? All right, well, legally, yes, it's okay, but my question would be, why would a 20-year-old want to marry a 40-year-old and vice versa? What would a 40-year-old or a 20-year-old have in common? Are you speaking as a about? parent here? Or, or? No, I'm speaking in general. <laughs> Are you really? Really? I Are think she's speaking as parent. I think, think so. Think yeah. Yeah. I think she's trying to give I you some advice. Lying. In the <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Well, I, I I actually disagree with you, Tracy. I have no problem with a 22-year-old marrying someone who's 40 or 50, as long as everything else is in place, all the other things that I a said, good marriage should have. There, there's nothing wrong with it, but I said my question is still why. Like, they're different Both. generations. <laughs> different, yeah, they are, but that's a good thing. You and I are different generations. We're getting along quite well. Maybe. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there you go. Our views are on the record. That, uh, another question for the kids. Hard question. A carrot related question. A carrot no, related. just a carrot. <laughs> I just want a carrot. Oh, this is easy. Um, tell me the, the best five things about you. I like learning. Yeah, you like learning. That's definitely a good thing. Amber. I like singing. I like singing. Yes, you do. <laughs> um, I like performing. Performing. I like being nice to people. Being nice to people. That's cool. Um, I like school. And you like school? Give me one more. I think we might be at four, but that's yes. okay. <laughs> um, You've got to say something about your hair. Please, please. I've worked on that for a long time to get it like that. Um, it is pretty good hair. That's, that's good hair. <laughs> I like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> he um, likes his hair. Hooray. Um, you like your hair. I like swimming. You do <laughs> like swimming? Yeah, yeah? I'm yeah. good at swimming. Cool. I heard you're in the squad or something like that. Yeah, yeah? at Vicky's. Wow, cool. All right, well, there you go. A bit of self-promotion there for the kids. <laughs> I'm going to grab a thick one. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a bit scary. Three lines long. Long question. If you could do only one of the following, which would you think is the best use of money? Uh, one, being able to take family vacations. Two, having a really nice home. Or three, being able to send your children to a great college. If I had to choose one, it would be family holidays. No, it would be children to college. <laughs> <laughs> no, children going to college will be your issue when you're old enough to pay for it. Well, hopefully the government will still have some kind of scheme yeah, by then some, in place. Some kind of hex scheme for you to pay for college. Well, why are family vacations the one you've chosen, though, Tracy? Quality time with your family, I think, is or for me, it's really important, and yeah. that's what I would prefer to do out of out of any of those is have that really good quality, fun family time together. Because you know, as a parent, children get older and and too quickly, too quickly, and reality is another few years she's not going to want to come on vacation with me, and yeah. she's just going to go. You never know. You never know. Okay. Meg, do I get to spend enough time with you? Yes. Yes. Too much, perhaps. No. No, good boy. <laughs> Perfect, time. Perfect time. Perfect time. Perfect time. That's good. Now, Megs, are you going to... Oh, no, it's our time. It's your turn. Oh. Tracy, to read a question to the kids. No, wrong box. Wrong box. Oh, wrong box. <laughs> I apologise. There it is. Confusion over the boxes here. Oh, this is nice. What are the qualities that make a good friend? So what's a good friend like? Oh, there you go. Um... I think a good friend is kind and caring and always listens to what you're saying 
and always understand you, except it's not always the same as you, because then it's like being best friends to yourself. That's interesting, because you don't want to have everything in common. You'd like someone a bit yeah. different to be a good friend, yeah? yeah. How about you, Meg? Um, someone a good who friend? cares about you. Yeah. And someone who, um, like, listens and, but, like, gets interested. Mm, awesome. All right, one more question each. I oh. think, is it time for Meg's to ask yeah. big grown-ups yes. a question? Mm -hmm. All right, are you question ready? Question for grown-ups asked by kids. Best you reading go, voice. Herman. Gonna have to give that a good shake. Shaky, shaky, yeah. shaky, shaky, shaky. Take the questions around. That's right. It's been really interesting talking to you guys. Yeah. Why? Well, to find out new things about you, really. Yes. Hearing, hearing your opinion. Your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever get arrested for anything? If not, did you ever do anything you should have gotten in trouble for <laughs> if anyone had found it out? <laughs> can we just answer the first part? <laughs> it's like, like, you can pass. No self-incrimination here. Can, <laughs> you can pass. I've got and you can make it. pass. It's an interesting one. Yeah, yeah. yeah pass, because I want you to make it's an animal noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, pass, I've, pass. I've never pass, been pass, arrested pass, pass, pass. for anything. Oh. And I haven't done anything that I should be arrested for. No, that's not the question, Tracy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, it's like, is there something that you've done that you, <laughs> that you should have been have found out? In trouble for? That's right. So we've established you've never been arrested. That's a good start. <laughs> You can no. pass it. You can pass it. Animal, pass, animal. pass, 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 yeah, pass, nothing, pass. Nothing pass, like getting pass. pressure from my daughter. Then make like an 15, animal 16. noise. Yes, mm. make an animal noise. All right, okay. An pressure. elephant. I, I will no, make, no, no. I will make the animal noise. It's usually not the adults getting peer pressure, no, is it? But then, yeah. I'm We've really decided the animal noise. The animal noise is a panda. panda. <laughs> 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 what noise is a panda make? I'm not like... A <laughs> <laughs> It's like a panda giving birth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what noise a panda is. Doesn't it go like all cuddly and stuff? It goes like ee! Okay. Ee! No, it doesn't do that. Well, I don't know what, a, what noise does a panda make. I don't, I don't know. know. Make up your own can you, can you chew bamboo for me? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Fine, we'll choose a different animal. No, no, that was my Sloopy. Best oh, so that was a panda eating bamboo. It wasn't the noise of a panda. So we've chosen You are so tough. Honestly. What about... <laughs> They're conspiring yeah. against Yeah, okay, we've right chosen so. a meerkat. A meerkat. A meerkat. A meerkat. What do they do? They go, <laughs> Do I do the little actions? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Clap You're going to do it, Dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you got it. Dad, do it. Dad's turn now. I'm going to answer the question. Oh. All right, I've got a quick story to tell you, and we've only got a few oh. minutes, okay? Quick story. I have never been arrested. Absolutely not. But one thing that I did do that I should have been sprung for was me and my friend. Uh, oh, this one. <laughs> there, were, there were some neighbours moved in next door to us. And I don't know why, but, but cut a long story short, we were cutting their electricity off with a switch in the <gasps> foyer of their unit apartment. <laughs> that is pretty normal. And then running away. And it was uh, admittedly mainly me doing it, but my friend was with me. <laughs> but then one... He wanted to wear this helmet of mine for a long time, and it just by pure coincidence, after we finished flicking the switch six or seven times, I gave him the helmet. But they had been watching us running from the unit the whole time. They saw the little yellow helmet running down the side. And then when they came into the backyard, they walked right up to my friend who was by that stage wearing the yellow helmet. <laughs> And it actually got a slap across the face. Oh, oh because he turned off the electricity. Well, no, because Tim did it. They and then thought Tim it was him. But then, but then because of the yellow hat, mm. the helmet. Mm. There, they identified the wrong culprit. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. So I did apologise to him. I felt really, and to this day, I feel. Why really didn't bad you say no? Well, it was me. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good question. There. Can I answer that? Because my friend had just been slapped across the face. <laughs> 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 All right, I think we've got one more for the kids, uh, Tracy. We've got just enough time. Yeah. Okay, what do you say to comfort yourself when something scares you? Can I say what I yeah. what I think about? Yeah, go for it. Well. I think of my favourite things. Good yeah. boy. Or I think of, one of, of what, what exciting things I'm going to be doing. Think wow. of something nice and something that you like to do. Mm. Tell me something that you think of. What is a nice thing that you think about? Well, well, the first thing that pops up is roses. Roses? Roses, yeah. that's weird. Yeah, that's really cool. But that's it is um, different every time with what I think. Yeah. But what... Yeah. Basically, your brain just sends you something happy to think about for a little while. Mm -hmm. oh, good boy. And Amber, what um, do you do? What well, do you say to yourself? 
Most of the time, I think of my imaginary place, which is made out of chocolate. Oh, that's and pretty cool. There's TVs everywhere made out of chocolate, and the they only play two TV shows, which is Glee and SpongeBob. <laughs> and, and the Chocolate City never melts, by the way. Yeah, ever. and, and everything's melt. made out of chocolate. No. And if you eat it, like if you take a bite out of something, it, it automatically restores, grows yeah. over. Oh kind wow! Of. I've, yeah. I've heard a lot about this magic chocolate place. Now, kids, uh, can you say um, good night to the listeners because we need to move on? But um, thank you very much for coming in and sharing your thoughts. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, and thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, kids. It's been a pleasure. It has been. <laughs>